Welcome everyone, thank you for joining Fun with Flutter. In this video we will be creating a custom draggable slider. As you can see, as you drag the slider it makes this cool wave effect in the opposite direction. It also makes a little bit of a spring and bounce effect when you tap and when you let go. I had a lot of fun developing this app and creating this video, so I do hope you learned something and hope you have fun as well. It is a bit of a long video, so it is divided into several sections feel free to skip around. That said, let's get started. To begin with, we will just do the general scaffold and get a draggable area within the center of the uh, screen, just some with some visual representation that we are actually doing um, touches and doing drags. So to begin with, um, I've already created like this standard mock layout or default layout, and I've created a separate file called wave slider um this stateful widget will be our entire um uh, slider this this uh, this widget is will be the slider in its entirety um we need to do an import i believe uh, material dot perfect let's return a child text to see that everything's working hello and then we can Instead of passing a container, a column, we can just say wave slider. And then import that file. Perfect, we are up and running. So to begin with, we will define two uh, variables. The first one will be final double uh, slider with actually we will call this with and final double height and then we can incorporate this as a constructor um do, 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 do. i'm going to remove this um for continuity the second to the seventh section will be uh, will not include that um, i'm reshooting the first part because of uh, audio issues uh, so I'm, I'm trying to make this um be as similar to the original as possible. Um, okay, we can remove the key. We are also gonna uh, specify a default value that's equal to 350 in the width and 50 in the height. And what we want to do instead of returning this text, we will give it a container. Um, I'm lying. We will implement the geshe detector and the child for the geshe detector will be a container and we will give it a width of um, widget dot width and a height equal to the widget dot height save that give it a color colors dot red cool so we have this going um, this is our container that we just made, and this is our draggable area, uh, the area that's with, within this uh, gesture detector. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail what this is, but this is Flutter's uh, parent widget for anything touch-related, um, clicking, dragging. Um, we will be making use of on horizontal drag, down, drag, start, drag, end, but it's we're making use of the on horizontal drag. Um, let's reformat this document. Why is it not looking nice? There we go. Next, what we need to do, we will need to start implementing these on drag uh, functions. So this, the first one will be wrong place on drag on horizontal drag update. And then let's do an example. We will print the update dot global position okay uh, if we start dragging now you can see at the bottom it prints the offset so you can see 100 220 if we go to the left it's going to be 30 um, it's going to be 30 because it's also including this white space margin when this says global position it means global position to the screen um, to the right it will be 380 so the entire width 350 plus the margin to the left um, what we want is we want the local position 
so local to this render box or to this container that we've drawn here um, when we touch this left point we want it to be zero and this to be the width that we specify so that is what we will do now um, we can start by extracting this to its own function we can call this void on drag update update details update and what we want to do is we want to get the render box for this container so what we need to pass in is we need to pass in the build context call this context and from here we're going to say context.find render object so a render box is a uh, a render object in a 2D Cartesian coordinate system. Sorry, I'm butchering that name. Um, it's essentially just X and Y coordinates representing um, this area that gets printed or this area that gets drawn within the app. Um, we can see it's get, get, getting drawn because we are actually giving it a color value as well. But if this color wasn't there, this area can still be seen as a box that, um, that Flutter draws to the screen or a box where things are contained within. So when it says um, the left corner is placed at zero, 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 this will be the left top corner. This is zero, zero, and zero dot height. Um, this is the width for the X parameter, and then the height would be zero, zero, and this is width height. Uh, so the maximum width, the maximum height. Um, we want to get the local coordinates. Um, instead of the global position. So how we're going to do that is we're going to create an offset and we're going to say box dot global to local and we will give it this update parameter and we will say global position. So now if we print this, print offset, Oh my goodness, I can't spell. Offset, offset dot dx, it should be zero. So instead of having an inline function, we are just gonna say on drag update. Context start, oh, update. Perfect, let's see. And yes, uh, that's what we want. We want it to be zero. We want it to be 350. So now we have the local position confined to this uh, render box um, or this container. Um, we want to continue doing this for um, on horizontal drag down or drag start. And we want to do it for on horizontal drag end. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll get back to you. Okay, there we have it. We've implemented all of these methods and we're calling them. For on drag end, this is of note, um, this end, drag end details does not contain a global position. Also at the point when we leave the touch, when it's ending, um, the final touch position would be the update. So we don't actually want to get the offset um, and we also cannot get the offset as far as I believe. I'm just calling set state for uh, in the future, just making sure that uh, our param like, um, all of our widget gets, widgets get rebuilt um, on, on drag end to do our animations and to do our um, painting that we will do to, for the custom slider. Okay, so to continue, we would like to create a new function um, called um, update drag position. What this will do is um, update drag position, we will give this an offset value. So what this will do is we will call this every time one of these uh, update events occur and we will define a new drag position for our slider and we will define a new drag percentage. So the percentage from 0 to 100 um, of our drag state. So and we are also gonna um, create two variables, drag position equals zero initialized, double uh, drag percentage initialized to zero. 
and then we're going to say double new drag position set this equal to zero and then if val.dx uh, so if this value is smaller than smaller equal to, to zero we are going to put this equal to the new drag position i will explain why we are doing this now and then finally we will call set state and for this set, set state we will set the sorry about that we will set the drag position equal to the new drag position and we will set the drag percentage equal to the drag position divided by the widget dot slider dot width okay so well, why we did this if statement is just to double check that when we drag we don't pass uh or go behind the zero the zero point and go um above the uh, total width um we don't want our slider to be in the negative and we don't want it to be bigger than what we specified it should be and we also don't want our percentage to be 110 percent. we just want 100 percent um so to get some visual feedback um we are going to define a new child and we're going to say a column and for this column we're going to give it a couple of um, text boxes text widget sorry for the noise if you can hear it uh, text probably can hear it loud neighbors okay we're going to say drag position dot to string and we're going to say drag percentage dot to string. Let's format that. And ah, it's not updating because we're not calling our update drag position with a offset parameter. So this should work perfect and as you can see if we get past this point zero above this point three point three hundred fifty for for lulls if we actually just say this is the drag position um do, 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 do. oh the value dot dx without that check then it can go into the negative i should have showed you this before i implemented the if statement so yeah this is what we want we want this check new drag position and yeah, that's that's that for section one. Um, we have um, a working slider, technically, with some uh, representation. In the next section, it's gonna get more fun and we're gonna start um, doing the, the painting uh, for the custom line.